All right, guys, today we're doing tri-tip, but we're gonna do it different. We're doing tri-tip like brisket. So we're gonna season it like I do my brisket, and we're gonna cook it like we do my brisket. I saw some other videos of people saying it's good, so we're gonna try it out and see. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this Worcestershire, and we're gonna spread this all over our tri-tip here, just to give something to our rub to stick to. It's kind of, it's not real moist on the outside here. So we gotta moisten her up. Plus this will give her a little bit of flavor. It's always good on beef. And then we've got our salt and pepper. <clears throat> this is 16 mesh black pepper and kosher salt. That's all it is. It's the best thing to have on brisket in my opinion. Any beef, that's what I prefer. I used to not do it that way, but I've really liked it lately. Coat this thing down. Just get a good liberal coat on the whole thing. Just like so. Get your edges. And that's it. We're going to throw this thing on the smoker. There's really nothing to trim on it. Anything that way, we're just going to put it on there. We're going to let it ride until it gets to about 160. Then we're going to wrap it up. Okay, so we've got our smoker heated up to 225. That's where we're gonna go with this today. We're just gonna throw this thing on here, down here away from our heat source. Get our probe put in there. And go right in the side here, just go right in the middle. Just like so. When that hits 160, then we'll be back and uh, wrap it up. All right, so our tri-tip's at 165, so we're gonna get it off the smoker and wrap it up. Come take a look at this. Looks really good. Just gotta get crust on the outside of it. So we're gonna get this wrapped up. Take it over here to our tin foil. You can see this cut in it right here. I put that because on a tri-tip, the grain runs two separate ways. It runs this way and then it runs this way so when you slice it this one you want to slice here and then there and I found if you do that before you cook it just put a little slice in it it's really easy to tell where that uh, grain changes direction so we're just gonna wrap this up just tight we are gonna put a little bit of beef broth in there probably about a half a cup like so. We're going to double wrap that thing. Okay. We're going to take it back over and put it back on the smoker. back on there. I'm going to put our probe back in there. Exact same spot. <coughs> Smoky. Figure that one out. But anyway, we're just going to close this out. We're going to let it ride at 225 until it gets to about 200 degrees. 195, somewhere in there, we'll start probing it. See how tender it is. As soon as it gets tender, we'll get it off. Alright guys, so we're going to check this tri-tip. We checked it. It's at like 195. I've been checking it since about 190. It's 199 now. And that probe is to the point where it just slides in there like butter. So we're going to get this off here. And uh, what we're going to do is get it off and wrap it. Let it steam off for a few minutes. Once it steams off for a few minutes, then we'll close it back up and let it rest. That will help the bark so that it resets and so it's a little better. So we're going to go with that and uh, we'll get it opened up and let it steam off. Okay, so we're just going to open this up here. Okay, so we're just 
sit there and let it cool off for probably five minutes <clears throat> and then we'll close it back up and let it rest. Alright guys, so this has been sitting there for about five minutes. The other thing I want to do is I want to get this juice off of it. Uh, juice. So what I'm going to do is once I slice this up, then I will, uh, once I slice it up, I'm going to put this back, warm this up a bit, and then I'll put it back over the top of it. But for now, I'm going to wrap this back up now. And we're just going to let it sit inside for about 30 minutes, give it a good rest, and we'll be back to slice this up and have a taste. Alright guys, we've got our brisket here. It's been resting for about half hour, 45 minutes. <clears throat> we're going to slice this up. I said brisket, it's not brisket, it's tri-tip cooked like brisket. So let's check this out. Never done this before. We'll see how we like it. It's got a nice uh, smoke ring on there. Let's see how it pulls apart. Oh yeah, a little tug, but good. Oh yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. That's really good. Really good. It's different. It's not the same as tri-tip cooked medium rare, but it's really good. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like. You want to try some? Yeah. Emily wants to try some. You got to tell us if it's good. Oh, it's really good. All mm -hmm. right, we got to feed the cameraman, I guess. He wants his payment. Mm -hmm. He says good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's so like if you brisket. like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.